Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Nick Style. I'm a Dark Souls shoe speedrunner. I uh, do speedrun Dark Souls shoe and Dark Souls shoe scholar. Kind of different leaderboards, but um, yeah, it's a it's a pleasure being here, and I hope that I can hype you guys with a uh, uh, good content and a good run. Uh, before starting, I wanna I wanna send a hug for my grandma, my mom, and my girlfriend. Uh, they are in the bottom floor uh, watching the run, and I'm really happy with their support and means a lot to me. And uh, for all of you who are watching this run, I hope that I can share a bit of my love for Dark Souls Shoe with you all in this uh, sick run. <laughs> you ready for the file file name? Uh, please let me know. Sure, it is Inigo Montoya. One word. Uh, can you can you send me in uh in a DM? Oh yeah, you got it. Okay. Um okay. So as soon as I uh the first loading screen, the timer should start. This will be um uh, just getting the screen. Okay. So um uh Let's go guys, that's the the one and only Dark Souls Shoes Cover the Person, Old Souls. So, um, during the interview I explained shortly why Old Souls is a, is a category. I don't know if you know about it, Melu, but um, uh, previously the Old Souls category was the any percent. But uh, people realized the tech and then I will give more details a little bit. Let me lend the. Uh, let me nail the the nickname. Yeah, I, I have no idea actually what Old Montoya. Souls is. Montoya. Just to confirm, Inigo Montoya. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for the, the incentive. So for this run, I start with Bandit and Healing Wares. It's Bandit is actually the the best class for. Um, Starting this uh, this category because it starts with good vigor, good endurance, and the best part is the dexterity and the bow. Bow uh, using bow in Dark Souls shoe gives you advantage ad advantage because you can use it for aiming, uh, for some sk skips, tricks, and it's it's amazing. It's amazing item, just like binos. Um, Talking a little bit more about the classes, there are no other, like, the other viable uh, starting class is Explorer. But for, for if you compare Bandit and Explorer, Explorer should be better in a longer category, such as bosses, compared to Bandit, because it starts with more consumables, such as uh, the aromatic use. It's the Fine resin for this uh, for magic and witching urns that allows you to get an NPC uh, set that gives you more souls. You may know about it. It's the Tsodora set. So yeah, but in this short category, Bandit is actually the best one because stats and oh. I'm doing some sorting here to make sure that uh, I get the, the right equipments and uh, the right weapons during a blacksmith. You may know that uh, in Dark Souls 2, the best weapon for a speedrun, like one of the best, is the Rapier. Because of counter damage, dexterity, and like, scaling damage, everything sums up, and Rapier is definitely the best for this one. This first segment is like a uh, running segment until like, four minutes of run. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I'm a bit nervous of uh, uh, dying at the start because it's it will be a, a a huge time loss. But what can I say? Uh, the event luck, right? Nick, we're like um, we're like less than five thousand away from a quarter million raised for a link to the past. Oh my god! Yeah, these are flowing in. We're we're talking like 
Uh, how many did we in, in the since the run started? We raised over six six thousand dollars. <laughs> That's make me even more nervous, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. This is more than likely going to be hopefully the two million dollar run. Yeah, I say, I say sounds really dope. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be doing the first glitch. It's called Bomb Wall. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh I mean, it's the glitch that I, I, I was scared of missing because uh, I'm basically connecting the, the fire bomb hitbox with the barrels on the other side of the wall. But that's amazing, Melo, for sure. Do you have time for a quick donation? Uh, Hold up a second. Yeah, I'll, no I'll be doing John Drop. It's the trick that I'm most scared of missing, so I, I'm apologizing before it happens. But I nailed it. Go on, Melo. Let's go. Great job. Yo, we have uh, from Sango, $50. Say, super excited to watch the Old Souls run of DS2. My favorite Souls game. Putting this donation towards A Link to the Past. It's probably my favorite too, to be honest. Nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, so that drop that I just did, it's it happens that my character hitbox uh, matches the turtle hitbox in the bottom floor, and I believe that the game doesn't know what you do with my character, so it places me like in the in the safe spot. And that was Les Giant, the first boss. So here is Melincha. She's basically the best NPC in this game. She sells that consumable called Bright Bugs. It's one of the most powerful consumable items in this game for sure. It increases your damage as well as your defense. So you can like tank hits and you do much more damage with it. It's like in the 20s, 30% range. So it's super powerful. It's it's also like really rare you can get like couple before like some uh some parts of the game and there is not much to pick it up so you must use with uh with wisdom and that's the second boss of the game it's super hard i hope that i don't miss it and i will just yeah it's it's done shout out to pseudo stripey for that uh that strat Can I time it with a donation? Yeah, go for it. All right, we have a $50 donation from Wheelin' Deal Wheelin' Dealin' Goblin. And they say, mm -hmm. Goblin Wheel, Goblin Deal. Goblin donate nice. to AGDQ to prevent cancer. Goblin extremely hype for this Dark Souls 2 Old Souls run. Amazing, thank you so much. I'll be doing a backup. Normally, you don't get this bonfire, neither like the storage. But uh, my best friend is right at this section, and it's called the barrel. Uh, if you watch the hot fix um, past year, you may know that I tried this barrel like six times in a row. I failed the barrel a lot. And this time I'm prepared. I brought a firebomb. I am with a torch in my hand. So, if the barrel don't explode, I'm more than ready to punish it. <laughs> oh, hey, there's 250k. That's quarter of a million dollars raised for A Link to the Past. Okay, so as expected, the barrel didn't explode. <laughs> That's okay. That my nervous went away, man. <laughs> the, the, the stressful part is, I, I guess it's it's done. Okay, cool. We're just speeding from here then. Yeah. You want me to keep going with the donation or two? Yeah, for sure. Please. From Telperion, we have a five hundred dollar donation. They say love from the rhythm game community. You got our Step Mania showcase to run. Let's do the same for Link to the Past. Break some pop, 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 pots for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
And yeah. So, go, mm, go, go, go for it, Melo. Oh, psh, all right, cool. From <laughs> from Linger and Will, we have a two hundred dollar donation. Let's get this link to the past. I love this event so much, and it's for a good cause. Yeah, I was about to say this is a the, the, another whole W segment. If you have any dono, oh. that's a good time. I was about to say okay. that. <laughs> We're good. So, uh, Pyro Grunt donates ten dollars. Thanks so much. And they say link those pasts. And let's get an incentive update. Where are we at? Yes. So, uh, wow, 17k away from 1.9 mil. Then we get to count down the last hundred towards two mil, and uh, that's hype. That's pretty exciting. Are you hyped, Nick? Definitely, <laughs> dude. Let's go. That's amazing. It's an it's an honor, dude. It's an honor. <laughs> uh, we're so honored to have you. Um, you know, how about this one? From Mick Groove T, $25. Let GDQ never stop. Hype for Dark Souls 2. Keep up the great work. Let's go. I really get this moment to explain you guys a cheese for this boss. You can count six and a half steps and just run diagonally and you will cheese it. I, I will use a so just to be optimized, but I, yeah, he is, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> And here I will optimally use a homeward bomb. Like one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two. So I can use a homeward bomb during talking with NPC, and I can hit the trigger to move this NPC while warping. And uh, yeah, using this homeward bomb saves a bit of time. And yeah. About the sorry thing that I did during the start of the run, that makes uh, Mace being the first weapon and Rapier being the last, so it saves inputs. It's a dope strat. And now it's where the uh, a good part of the show starts, because I'm gonna do a drop that usually gets... Uh, it's, it's a hype moment. Hope that I don't miss it. Nice. Yeah, I'll be entering uh, the gutter and black gauge. It's the the home of the first great lord. It's the rotten, and he is he's a good first option because he's weak to the weapon type that is uh, rapier, like the trust. Uh, rapier is a trust weapon, and rotten is weak to trust attacks. So yeah, it's a it's a good match. I'll be getting this Peach Bonfire because I will attempt a jump skip. It's called Jeff Jump after the speedrunner Jeff the Big Lizard who discovered it. And it's a uh, when it was discovered, it was a bit diff uh, it's a bit difficult and uh, I'm a bit nervous, so I might miss it, but I hope that I don't. And um, it's Yes, landed. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so here is the first part of the run that I can get invaded by the scholar friend called Forlorn. If you play Dark Souls 2 and, or Scholar, you may know there is a, a low percent chance of being invaded by Forlorn. And Forlorn is super strong and as you can see I have basically no HP and I don't plan using any healings. And yeah. I will buff just to be uh, just to be safe here, but um, you may you, you can use homeward bone and or you may have right uh, homeward bone in your quick uh, item slot, and if it goes like if he uh, so I will be invaded. You see how the homeward bone went from like the the white sprite to the gray sprite. It means that I cannot use the item, and thus I am being invaded. That's how you may know before being invaded uh, that you're gonna see for learn so rotten uh, I, I'm trying to remove his arm with a weapon uh, to make the fight a bit easier 
Oh, that's odd. Yeah, usually he only uses that attack if I am at his side. Mm, okay. And that's and that is the first lord. I'm only missing three more before continuing the journey. Great job, Nick. Hey, I, you know, I want to pivot, actually. We've been talking so much about A Link to the Past uh, and trying to get that bonus game in after this, but I want to turn everyone's attention to our overall donation total. We're about to be $10,000 away from 1.9 million raised for PCF. And then we're in the final countdown to 200,000. So while you're getting those donations in, make sure you click that add incentive button and put it towards a link to the past or whatever it is you're interested in. But we're about to start counting down to 1.9 million. Yeah, let's go. So I did the first level up. This is where Bendit saves time because I have a uh, good vigor, nine, and uh, endurance is also like a, a high uh, compared to the other classes. Like it starts with seven, I guess, and 14 is super close. So I don't have to, exp uh, to expend much souls with levels. But uh, on the other hand, uh, intelligence, faith and attunement are super low, which is, which is okay. It's a good balance. It's a good balance between the, the stats. Uh, but now I'm, I'm buying the... I'm getting super strong right now. Uh, you may know that Dark Weapon with a Dark Rapier is one of the strongest combos in this game. And the I'm like something between something with something like 15 minutes of run and I am already this powerful. I will get a plus six Dark Rapier with Dark Weapon and that's like I will melt most of the bosses with this uh, combination. I'll be using a glitch right now called a tournament glitch. I basically am uh, attuning dark, uh, dark Weapon, but I will be getting the uses of Dark Orb. I do this by uh, changing the spell during the loading screen, so I get the 20 uses. Can I go with the yeah, donation? This is, or go ahead. Yeah, go for it, man. No worries. Okay. Yeah, uh, all right. So this one's from Cartridge Blowers. It's $25, and it says, Another rap for my boy on the host mic. Oh, gosh, here we go. We got up here spitting, got them reads so brutal. Read your donations, no need to be frugal. Speedrunning's a sport, we call that a jock fit. Link to the past, yo, we gotta unlock it. Putting that cheddar to that PCF. Meeting incentives until there ain't none left. We're helping with gaming at GDQ. But none of this happens without you. So thanks for your help. Best believe that. No one on earth is cuter than chat. ay ay ya. Thank you, cartridge blowers. Nice. So Melu, have you played uh, the trilogy? Yes, I have. And can I assume that Dark Souls 2 is your favorite? Yeah, you know, I would say it's my favorite story, but I spent so much time doing PvP in Dark Souls 1, it would be like a shame for me not to tip my hat to that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Oh, man. Dark Moon Forest, I was always up in them trees. Okay, so here is a low percent drop that may be useful. I never got this in a, in a speedrun, but this enemy can drop a boat stone. And yeah, unlucky. Uh, unlucky. I didn't get a, a single drop, but that happens. <laughs> that enemy can drop basically like any infusion stone uh, in this game. So I'm not sure if it can drop mundane, I guess, but like there is like uh, the. the uh, Easiest drop is raw stone that uh, that's useful for SL one, but he can drop the elemental stone, so dark, lightning, fire, etc. And dropping the lightning stone would save me time in some boss fights at the end game. And yeah, but I I never managed to get that time save. That's that's unlucky. Just unlucky.
Yo, Nick, we're looking at just over 6,000 until 1.9 million. Oh, guys, let's go. Let's go. Uh, do you want me to read or you, you got something coming up? Go for it. Okay. We have a $200 donation from, excuse me, princess. They say, to all of GDQ, we thank. So here's money from our bank. We love an air boat, so you have our vote to see Lonk to the past. Or is it Lank? <laughs> Thank you, excuse me, princess. And, yeah, uh, so... Uh, go ahead. <laughs> I just got super unlucky with a backstab from a ghost that I'd never seen in my life. But that's okay, that's okay. Uh, uh, I'm hollow now, but meme happens, right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, you definitely uh, you may not know, but I I'm grinding for a world record for this category. I during the grind section, like that, I, I think that I'm grinding for like 15 days or something. I got close to world record like three times in uh, godlike runs, and I got like super unlucky with boss fights RNGs. But in like 200 runs, I didn't get backstab once. Yeah. Marathon luck. Hey, I want to turn, Nick, your question around to the chat. If y'all, when you're donating, why don't you tell us which is the best Dark Souls and why? Yeah, make sure to say it's the Dark Souls true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, from Shirky, $200. They say, let's get the bonus game unlocked for more GDQ. Two million is in sight. Let's go, chat. Go. So, next part is Najka, and um, yeah, this is, will be the first time that I will show that uh, like the difference in power creep, uh, because I'm super strong. Najka is a could be your first boss in the game, so this fight will be a breeze. She is RNG heavy. She can jump around, but I'm I'm, I'm praying for tail attacks. Yep, that's one. Oh, one more, please. Yeah. Okay. Unlucky. Tail attack. Yo, dude. <laughs> please do a tail attack, man. Come on. <laughs> uh, amazing. Yeah. Okay, but that's Najka. Hey, we have uh, from DS2, oh goodness gracious, DS2 SOTFS Enjoyer donates $120. They say, it is my duty to donate during the best Souls game. Thank you so much. Being one of the hardest fights in the game, you may think that I'm just joking about it, but... Congregation is actually one of the hardest fights in this game. If you uh, do not pay attention, you may like lose control over the fight. And yeah, um, there the crawlers do um, the crawlers attack uh, have two instances of hit. So with nine vigor, it basically uh, it basically puts you in like fifty percent HP. So I will make sure to take. Uh, Double care during the fight. We have uh, from Asuka, $100. They say, I've tuned into every GDQ since my friend introduced me in 2015. And I'm always excited to see the skill, passion, and positive energy during the entire week. And this day GDQ has been no exception. Thank you to the runners, to the organizers, to the tech crew, to chat, and to everyone who has given. See you all in SGDQ, lesson three. Thank you so much. So here I'm using a ring school to get this, uh, this guys out of the door. I just wanna enter the, the church. And I'm gonna buff outside the arena. Have my moment here 
to relax a bit. We have uh, from Knight of Me. They donate five hundred dollars and say, "Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. Prepare to die." Wait, that's the wrong game. This is Scholar, the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I got a human effigy as a backup for uh, to recover my the human state. Get some good HP. Mm -hmm. Nice whiff. So what makes this fight hard is to do it fast, because you wanna moot, uh, you wanna with one hit, like get a double kill with one hit. It's not easy because they like move around. They their AI is like focused at uh, getting the the skull, but they get like uh, they don't have a phase movement, so they uh, get stuck in each other and makes the fight a bit harder. But now is a segment that I'm a bit worried because, yeah, I'm gonna do a trick that. Okay, landing at the lizard, picking up the item, and uh, yeah, not missing the landing. That that was the part that I was scared of. If you miss the drop, you fall you fall in this uh, in this like the sand hole and you are basically dead. Next boss is Freya, which is, in my opinion, the hardest fight in the game. Like not counting RNG, etc. But it's it's a hard fight to position and a hard fight to uh, to punish. It's uh it's it's kind of choreography, but should be a bit meme because of a uh, spider. Uh, there is a lot of spider links inside the arena and uh, definitely I need to pay attention to that. Uh, I know you're about to be paying attention, but guess what? Mm -hmm. We just hit 1.9 million dollars. Oh, that's amazing. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, I know we have a little bit more, so I'm going to read from File Your FAFSA. They donate $25. <laughs> It's just an adult joke. They donate twenty-five dollars and say, "Dark Souls two million dollars raised." I sure hope so. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, oh. I do hope. From Felipe Alercrin, they donate five dollars and say, "Always good to see a Brazilian runner in the GDQ." Good luck in the run, Nick Style. Thank you. Muito obrigado. Yeah, shout out Brazil for sure. Yeah, uh, definitely a shout out to all my Brazilian friends. I'm, I'm sure that they are watching and hyping as much as I am. But that was actually a really good fight. I managed to get the everything right. Nick, I just want to bring up the incentive again. Mm -hmm. So don't forget everyone, after this game, we're trying to see Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, right? 100%. We gotta raise 400k to get there. Right now we're at 268,000. So, get those donations in. Click add incentive. Check out the prizes you can win. Spread love for PCF. If you love GDQ, if you want more GDQ, get that donation in. So, uh, uh, Frank was the second great, so uh, great lord, and I'm heading to the third one, uh, Lost Sinner. It's, it's a, it's a segment with, yeah, that was what I was about to say. Uh, some enemy mobs RNG can be surprising sometimes. Like I never saw this dude doing nothing and running backwards. Like that was the first time that I saw. Yeah. From, uh, we have a $50 donation from Gritsor. They say, right after finishing Elden Ring, I started Dark Souls 2 and it became my favorite of the series. There's an oddly high number of similarities between these two entries and they both hold a special place in my heart. Nick, best of luck on your run. You're already killing it. I hope the nerves passed. Let's hit 2 million. Thank you so much, man. And I do feel the same about Elden Ring and Dark Souls 2. It's, uh, 
It's nice to see that uh, you felt the same. So yeah, this fight is... It's known for, like, when you started your Dark Souls 2 playthrough, this boss w was, uh, like, a huge wall for m many players, and having this strong weapon makes this fight super easy. Yeah. I hated this guys as well, even, uh, even more because I do have Cat Ring now, but uh, when I started playing, I didn't know that fall, uh, like coming from Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2 have one of the like most unfair fall damage ever. And like, you, I, you, I did my best to kill the first Sentinel at the upper floor. And then when I dropped to the second floor, I was already with like 50% HP. And I, when I started playing, I was like, dude, that's so unfair. How am I supposed to, like, fight a boss if I'm gonna have this penalty during the fight? And, uh, that's when I realized that I could, uh, search for another boss. Oh, Nick, we have, uh, a $200 donation from Jean Jacket. They say, the boys in Telethon say hey and want more GDQ. Thanks for a fun week. Thank you so much. And we so also yeah. have... Oh, go ahead, Nick. Uh, next, uh, I was about to say that next boss is Lost Sinner, and it's a tilting fight, but uh, I will not try to do it like speed run fast, just to be sure, but uh, yeah, I will try to strafe it and make a good fight anyway. What you were saying, Melu? Oh yeah, I was just going to read this very nice donation here. Go for it, then. So, from Dugzoid, they <laughs> they donate $250, and they say, GDQ, how can you not donate for more awesome speedruns and all for good causes? You can't. Get donating for some Link to the Past and more GDQ. That's what I've been saying. We got 130 k left for a Link to the Past. That's close. Yeah, for sure we can hit it, right? Oh, yeah, less than 130 k Actually, we're at, what is that, 127000 to go. These are flying. Okay, that's a good opening. It's the the poke attack. Mm, nice. Nice. <laughs> that was actually a really good fight. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I wish I had that in runs. <laughs> If you stream, you may know what is about to happen, and it's the Skelly Lords fight. Skelly Lords, it's the most random boss in this category, and that's what makes grinding for a world record such a hard, uh, such a hard thing, like a hard task. Because this fight works like you have three main uh, skeletons. And when you kill the skeletons, it summons a horde of uh, small skellies. If you want to go fast, you kill all three and pray and do our ones. But uh, you can pitch it, like kill uh, one at a time and like having um, a good breeze. But it's super slow. So in this category, you you try to kill the three lords and pray for like good RNG because the, the skellies can block and when they are blocking I don't know what makes them like to aggro again but it's it's super hard and like during blocking you can one hit uh, one shot them so yeah it's when I uh, in, in the segment and, and talking about numbers I have 13 seconds of time save if I leave this fight losing four seconds, I I turn to be the happiest speedrunner <laughs> on earth. So yeah, it's it's super concerning. Nick, I just want to say thanks for doing this. Like, or I know it's hard and it's a lot, of course, to practice these games and to uh, get a run in and to you know figure out your commentary. But 
It, since you've started this run, you've helped to raise over $42,000 just in the last like 35 minutes for PCF. So thank you, Nick. I do, I do appreciate it. And uh, AGDQ was actually a dream of mine. When I started speed running, I started during the, the pandemic. I never thought that I would be able to participate in an event like that. I was always a fan of Pokemon speedruns. Uh, and uh, like Poke Guy, who did a run in the AGDQ, I was a huge fan of the guy. And um, like being at the same event as one of uh, the runners that I watched when I was like years ago, it's something like incredible, actually. Yeah. And now and, uh, you're, you're the inspiration for the future runners. <laughs> I hope. I hope. <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, talking about that, during the, when the pandemic started, I started uh, speedrunning with a friend of mine called Little Screen. And I'm sure that uh, uh, he, he is also hyped for me being at AGDQ, the same way I would be if he was in my place right now. And uh, yeah, uh, that's Kelly Lords. Now starts the, the fun part. The skellies are uh, rising, and it's it's the best time that I have to punish. But yeah, as soon as they like start fighting, blocking, and dodging the fight, the fight uh, turns into like one of uh, a not pleasant fight. I do throw that alluring skull at the pillar to try uh, to punish the skellies like while blocking without having to worry about my aim and yeah that's it skelly lords you may think that the the run the, the fight was good but uh it was not <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's concerned of lose uh, of dying at this fight but uh, went okay there is a uh, really, there's just so much love coming in for you. I think, um, I, I don't know. I feel like it's probably accurate to, to honor Nick uh, by making this run the $2 million one. What do y'all think in the chat? I'm going to assume you're yeah. saying good things now. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I'm actually with, uh, uh, with chat open. I'm sorry that I cannot uh, answer all of your questions, but I'm trying my best to read some of them and uh, and like talk about it. And uh, yeah, next boss. Talking about the next boss, it's uh, Kobito's demon, as known as Jabba from Star Wars. <laughs> it's a really cool fight. Uh, while you're heading over there, do you mind if I chime in real quick? Yeah, go for it. For sure. So we have from De Dedicated Sunbro, Bearer, Seek Seek Lust. Greetings from Australia. Always good to see a Dark Souls run, especially Dark Souls 2. Great run so far, Nick. You are crushing it. Make sure to pour some out for my girl, Lucitiel. And always, thank your sun bros. Yeah, let's get some praise of suns. Thank you so much. Yeah, unfortunately this fight is like HP, uh, the boss HP is not the greatest, uh, he is uh, weak to this weapon type as well, but the one's a good reference. And now starts one of the, the parts that I'm most concerned with, it's the next boss, it's Mipha, and uh, it's a not good fight, I will definitely take care of it, uh, should not... Uh, overdue during the fight because it's super easy to lose control and uh, there is a poison pool inside the arena so i need to take care of it as well i actually did a teep damage and uh didn't kill the that mannequin with one hit which is concerning so you know we're just over eighty two thousand dollars away from two oh. million dollars for PCF. Let's go, guys. I see those countdowns in the chat. Normally we start counting down by a hundred, right? 
<laughs> we have um, Primpy J donates 50 bucks and they say, here for Dark Souls, excited for Pokemon, but let's get that Zelda in the middle for a tasty speedrun sandwich. Yum. That's not a food crime. Thank you, Shrimpy J. Dude, I just got the best RNG ever, but I, since I was like, ah. Okay, yeah, it happens. I was worried about it, so. I got, if you, like, if you paid, uh, like, if you, you may, may see that uh, when I t touched the Fogo, a dagger almost hit me, and uh, I was like, I feel like that uh, made me nervous, but that's okay. I was already expecting uh, a death here. It's a super hard boss. May happen. Like, th more. that opening was actually the best. Like, it's... It happens like once in a while, and uh, she did back-to-back -back charges. If I had a good uh, HP, I would punish that, like, for sure. I, I, I hope that she do the same, just so I can have my um, my revenge. I'm gonna squeeze another one in here real quick. Uh, we have from TBS Sky, or sorry, TB Sky and $200. Dark Souls 2 is often thought of as the unbeloved middle child of the trilogy, but I think it has so much to say for itself. And seeing it get absolutely demolished like this is a true pleasure. Let's take this to 2 million. Can I get it? Yes! Let's see if I can... Oh, followed by the, the head attack. Yeah. I wish that, uh, I wish I had good HP in the, the first fight. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna be right back in just a moment. Why don't I, I read some donations? Some frames. I'm sorry, guys. We have a, a wow. So from Marlones, they donate fifty dollars and they say had to donate during Dark Souls. Praise the sun. I didn't see any praise the suns in the chat. Maybe I wasn't looking, but uh. Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if we can get any praise the sun's going rather than uh, the typical panic basket. But yeah, how about from Anonymous, $25, and they say more GDQ. Guess what? That's what we're getting right now. This is more GDQ, the moments we live for. So, uh, you know, get those donations in. We're looking at still uh, getting close to that 2 million mark. Right now we have just under or around $78,000 to go until we hit to 2, to 2 million. Panic the sun. Here's where Brew Mellow panics. Just kidding. From Anonymous, $50. They say, if only one third of the current viewers put $5 towards Link to the Past incentive, we would reach it. So let's see. Here's a bit extra for those who can't donate. Thanks so much for that. From Ganon, we have a $50 donation. I hate it when Link foils my plans to plunge the world into darkness under my tyrannical reign. But I suppose if it's to defeat cancer, then I'll take an intentional death. Bring on the LTTP bonus game. Refresh this incentive here. We have $113,000 left until we get the bonus game seven, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past 100%, and a great donation. <laughs> Skidpad13 donates $100, and they say absolutely have to donate during the Dark Souls run. Watching GDQ with the whole family has become a tradition we all love. Let's spirit bomb the donations and get two million. Thanks P PCF, and thanks GDQ. Praise the sun!
from Big Head One. Thank you for your $100 donation. They say, need to reach that link to the past incentive? Well, excuse me, princess. Thank you for that Big Head One. Oh, guess what? We got Nick. We're going right back to Dark Souls 2 right now. I will be resuming the run in three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah, I I want to say sorry and uh, a huge apologize. It's raining outside and yeah, there's not much that I can do with it. But uh, I hope that uh, it's it's okay now and let's enjoy uh, the rest of the run. So well, now I mean, it's yeah, yeah, no, go go go. Iron Kip, the place that I am most scared of. I, the only thing that I don't want to read is Armor Dennis, and I'm seeing Panzer Sharon. Yeah, that's that works. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> go for it, Meluf. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Nick, go. <laughs> Donates $20 and says, Bearer of the Curse, good luck on the run. Thanks. So, uh, this pathing of Iron Kip, uh, it's basically the final stay uh the final development of uh what i called nick kip uh when i run uh, when i ran this category for the first time the pathing was super inconsistent there was like no uh safety at all and i used the bright bug just to survive and be, be sure that i would pass this area Oh, that's a good meme. The soldier like jumped from the bridge to the, the lower floor. That's uh, actually a good meme. But uh, yeah, but you never know. This is one of the worrying parts of the run. I hope that I don't get like memed at the fog wall. This turtle can do a, yeah, a slow attack that cuts my momentum. And the, this other one could do the combo that gets me at the fog wall, but that's okay. I, I got it. Nice. Oh, 70K until 2 million. Oh, dude, no way. <laughs> yeah, it's flying. And let's go. So that strat, uh, the pathing that I did make this turtle to hold all the enemies. That was the issue of the first, uh, the previous pathing like years ago. And that's, and that makes Iron Keep super easy on Scholar. And now, uh, oh dude, I skipped the bonfire. I hope that I don't uh, choke it. But I'll be doing a strat but made by the runner Fujo O'Hare. It's the current world record holder. Uh, it's a huge friend of mine. We have this rivalry of like changing records. I am the former world record holder for this category, but um, I have been changing it with Fujo for a while now. Oh, imagine getting hit by the, the best opening. Oh. Mm. Oh, dude. Yeah. That was not the greatest fight ever. <laughs> but but you didn't Let's show, go. didn't show. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm heading the, the second part of the game from uh, I'm going to Grungley Castle and um, let's go. Yeah. We have, uh, yeah, okay, I think it's time to get hyped because we're getting so close. Um, we're like just over 64,000 away from hitting $2 million. From Dupid, we have a $50 donation. They say Zelda hype, GDQ hype, speed running hype, prevent cancer hype. Let's go lurkers, donate for more games. Hype, I'm hyped, hype. man. Hype for real. Yeah, yeah, Should we get dude, beat. Oh, go for it, man. No worries. I was going to say, should we get a donation train uh, timed up here? What's a good time you're thinking? Oh, yeah, you to decide. Okay, let's do uh, let's do 50 minutes. So right at the 50 minute mark, uh, if you're able to donate five bucks, or if you've been hanging on for a moment like this, now's your time. 
As soon as it says 50 minutes flat on the timer, I want to see them $5 donations pour in and make sure that you're putting it towards a link to the past because we're trying to watch Zelda after this. Okay, so now I'm uh, reaching my castle and um, you may know, if you played the game, you know that this is where the final boss, uh, where is the final boss. But uh, I need to go all the way to the lowest part of the dungeon to get a ring to progress the story and then um, summon the final boss. And yeah, but uh, that's cool that uh, they did uh, this uh, this little thing. Like the castle is really, uh, it's a beautiful building and it's a good scenario for sure. Uh, we have a $50 donation from Turkle, who says Dark Souls 2 is the best Dark Souls. Good luck in the run, Nick. Let's watch Zelda and kick Cancer's butt. Sure. <laughs> uh, and Hailstream donates $25. They say Dark Souls hype and Zelda hype. Yo, y'all are alive right now. Oh yeah, Ride a call, Ride a Caller donates $5 and they say, do I sense a $5 train leaving the station? Let's get that bonus game, AGDQ. Let's push it to 2 million, choo choo. That's right, we're doing a $5 train at 50 minutes if you can and apply that donation towards a link to the past. It's really exciting to watch the numbers skyrocket and watch the tracker climb really fast. Uh, the, it's, it's a hype moment for sure. Oh, we just passed 300K. We're down to the last 99,000 for a link to the past. Oh, Thor donates $200. They say, Nick is doing an amazing job with both running this game and providing awesome commentary. Loving this run. Good luck, Nick. Thanks, appreciate it. We appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be getting uh, some peaches here. Uh, not gonna lie, uh, the raining and the internet thing kind of like made me weird. But like, I'm gonna get the uh, the uh, some life gems and a healing that is like super dope for this uh, for this run. But uh, yeah, everything will be alright. Sure. You got so much support coming through. I mean. Like, everybody is sending you your energy, Nick. You're just doing fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. From uh, Mully, we have a $25 donation. They say, let's go, Nick. Loving this run. Always cathartic to see a runner beat DS so easily compared to my struggles in these great games. Uh, and let's get the final bonus game unlocked. Yeah, that, they bring up a good point. This isn't just any bonus game. This is the final bonus game. It's the final boss, essentially. Okay, so this is a 2v1 fight, and I'll be using a bow to bring the the archer uh, to bring the archer down, so I can punish him because he is super weak, and I can uh, easily kill him with a combo. And now it's 1v1. Dark weapon with uh, having a dark infused weapon with dark weapon makes things so much easier. Be getting this beach bonfire and by the time i clicked over to it you had already beaten them <laughs> uh from shadow invictus they donate 50 dollars. they say dark souls 2 is the only dark souls game that i have not played but this run makes me want to give it a chance can we honestly say that we had an agdq without a link to the past in the marathon let's get that incentive and two million dollars to prevent cancer So now I'll be doing a, a strat made by a friend of mine, Juan Zito, also a Brazilian runner. He taught me about it and it's it saves a lot of time if I get it right. The the mannequin AI is not the best, but I got it. The mannequin is here and I just need to R2. Yep, super, super quick, super fast. Shout out to Juan Zito. 
Oh, oh, yo, we passed the 50 minute mark. I was like, why are the donations flying? We have 40, 50K left. No, um, $45,000 left. $44,000 left. Don't you love donation trains? <laughs> yeah, I do, man. <laughs> Until two million, we're so close to two million. Even if I didn't uh, get this bonfire as a backup, I would uh, need to rest at this point because I need to restore my weapon uh, durability. You may know that Dark Souls 2 weapons are like wet noodles. You may use it like three times and then the weapon is broken. Uh, the weapon breaks and uh, yeah. Uh, the next segment I will have uh, not a single chance to uh, restore my weapon. So that was a really good moment. I need to wait for the elevator anyways. So why not? To, um, to rest at this moment. We have, um, oh goodness gracious, there's so much happening right now. Th uh, 39,000 until 2 million and 80,000 until we hit a link to the past. Y'all, listen, I know sometimes donations come through at, like right before the bonus game starts, but this one definitely goes out to Nick. Let's make this the best AGDQ ever. Yeah, guys, I, d I don't know if I, uh, if I told you earlier, but like, being part of AGDQ was uh, a huge dream of mine, and like, I don't want to ask, like, it, it, I don't want to sound like not humble at all, but like, making this with the two million mark will be like a, a story that I'll tell to everybody. Uh, it will make my uh, my first participation being. Uh, so uh important to me then i will like for sure after the run i will go like to the, the go tell my grandma so <laughs> grandma guess what uh, my run was so important it was the two million mark so <laughs> yo you got a deal i'm telling my grandma too now <laughs> you know everybody should tell their grandmas if we hit too many during this run So, oh, so next fight is the Looking Glass Knight. What can I say about this boss? This boss in the first patch of the run had one of the loudest sound effects for the, this lightning attack. And it's actually a huge meme. You can search on YouTube for like Looking Glass Knight, Mirror Attack, Old Patch. It's like on volume one, the thing was so loud that uh, there was a joke like, yo, can you. You know, the, uh, when uh, an old Osh patch runners had a joke like, please make sure to turn down your volume before this fight starts. And it's like, <laughs> it was a good joke. That's what I, I have to tell you about this one. Wow. In the last 15 minutes, we've raised $51,000 for PCF. 15 okay. minutes, y'all. Goodness gracious. 25,000 left until 2 million. So, next part is Prime of Amana. You may know it. If you play it, you may know it. This is the most scary part of this run. Um, I'm already counting that uh, I will probably like lose some time here. I'm expecting at least one death, but uh, you may. You know. Oh, right? Get a blasting, a blessed run here. So this is the poke attack. This attack is basically undodgeable with normal rolling. You need to like change the, the di direction of your roll and the attack to may dodge it. It's super unfair. Another poke, but this time I managed to dodge it. Yeah, that was okay. Nick, we're in the final 20,000 to 2 million. Yeah, man, my heart is racing right now. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's, uh, let's read this one real quick. Wow. Um, from B Pep, they donate 500 bucks. Thanks so much. They say more GDQ, please. Yes. Um, from Koala Tums, they donate $1,000. Yeah, this is why we're here. Early detection saved my mom's life when she beat cancer almost a decade ago. Let's crush cancer and the link to the past dono goal. Let's go. So happy for you about that, Qualitums. Yeah. 
And another $1,250 from TGS. They say 10 years of watching GDQ. Let's go to the LTTP. At this moment, I'm doing part of my set just so I have enough boys to uh, to tank a soul arrow at that fog glow. That for sure is the most scary part of this uh, Shrine of Hamana segment. And I just don't want to see a poke attack here. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> a poke attack. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I guess it's fine. Right? Yeah, it is. Uh, 13,000 until 2 million. These numbers are flying. Y'all y'all must love Nick. Do you love Nick? <laughs> I do. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Making this moment really special. Uh, okay, like, more special, special than already is. Uh, from Aether Fang, we have a $50 donation. I'm, I'm going to do it for you. They say, we're so close, y'all. Let's get that 2 million hype. Let's see where we're at with a link to the past. We have um, 54,000 to go until we hit a link to the past. Cool looking bot. He's super strong and uh, and I just need to take care a bit to not get the Australian RNG. Shout out to the runner seller. Uh, yeah, was a okay fight. Wasn't worried at all. Final countdown: ten, nine, or eight. Eight thousand until. Ah, no, wait. I'm, I'm early. I'm early. I think. I don't know. I'm afraid I'm gonna miss it. Eight. <laughs> yeah, nightmare fuel for sure. This boss is. It's good looking, right? Uh, from Azareki, $200, and they say all Souls games are best Souls games. Yeah. And seven until two million. I'm just going to start saying the number every time it counts down. My favorite fights, so this could be a really pleasant moment. <laughs> Next boss, it's Velstad. It was actually the first... <laughs> The first, uh, the, my biggest rage in a speedrun was choking a fight for this boss. So, six. The, that that's a that's such a, a good Five. moment. Five. From inquiry, fifty dollars, and they say choo choo. Next stop, two mil. Oh. Four. There, guys. Nice memes. <laughs> Three. Two. Human. Chat is going crazy right I now. I know. One. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Yo, great job, everyone! Uh, so beautiful. Two million dollars raised for PCF. Nick, please go for it. Whatever you want. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for making uh, me the runner for that moment. I, uh, I I don't even know what to say, but uh, other than like, thank you so much. This is. Uh, super meaningful. It's uh, I will carry this moment in my heart forever, man. Uh, Nick, I'm so proud to be in this moment with you. 
Thank you to everyone, all the viewers at home watching, your extremely generous donations. Um, you know, what can we say? It's all for PCF. Thank you so much. You are loved. Yeah, so that is uh, Velstead, and that's actually the reason why I uh, Boatstone would be a, a time save in this run. He uh, do have like a dark resistance, like a he dark resistance, and I need to do my best to not get on a, to not get hit because he is also buffed. Okay, yeah. Oh, Melo, uh, that 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 is a magic moment for sure. Yeah, I uh, I can't wait till we tell our grandmas. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Dude, I just heard a, a, a lightning, like a a, a thunder. Actually, <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Abby Dabby donates fifty dollars, and they say two mil. Let's go. Dude, we have forty thousand dollars until a link to the past. Are we gonna hit that too, N Nick? How long would you say we have left in the run, dude? Um, to be honest, um, I get like eight minutes. Eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, like if if I do a really good end game, eight minutes. Well, in the last fifteen minutes, we raised sixty three thousand dollars for PCF. In the last fifteen minutes, so. This might be the, the most floored I've ever been at a, at a GDQ if we get it in the next eight minutes, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? Oh, Nicole Castor donates $100. They say, thanks, AGDQ, you're doing great work. Thank you, Nicole. It's from, you know, donators or donors like you that make this all possible. For sure. So Thanks this segment, well. go ahead. No, 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 go for it, man. It's a quick one. Helix donates 50 bucks. Can't wait to see the link to the past run. We're so close to hitting this goal. Let's go. Yeah. How much for the, the... Uh, right now we are, let me refresh. <laughs> About 40,000 away. We can do this guys. So uh, I I would do uh, th th uh, the next jump. It's actually a good joke. This uh, there is a skip, minor skip from the stairs to this part. It's a uh, simple jump, super easy, and it's that easy that I I I did my best to push a joke. And uh, the name of this skip is the ear that we are currently. In. So uh, right now the this jump is called 2023. Because, like, dude, I can't believe that you were missing this jump in 2023. So, yeah, that th that's the joke. <laughs> it's a super simple jump. Uh, there is no secret to it. A Mac and me, they donate $30. They say the Soul series is one of my favorites, and I love watching them be absolutely crushed at GDQ. This donation is going to the Link to the Past run. Let's get even more GDQ. Okay, next boss, Guardian Dragon. This boss, it's, yeah, that's a bit worrying, but uh, I don't want to see flies. Nice, no flies. Yeah, he's done. There is a, I, community says there is a 10% chance of he instant flying, uh, but, yeah, uh, I got memed uh, a lot by this boss during races. Uh, it was nice of him not flying at this point. Here I'll be using some souls because I'm gonna meet Melancho for the last time in a minute. So I'm gonna use my money to get some sweet, sweet items. From, uh, from Johnny B. We have a $25 donation. And they say, <laughs> Nick, he come to town. He come to take the boss's great souls. Let's get that Zelda run. Some more GDQ fun. And by the way, let's all praise the sun. Hallelujah. OK, I really slipped on that at the end. But thank you, Johnny B. I wish I could do that. <laughs> 
Oh, we also have a hundred dollar donation from Little Freaky. And they say, in the past, that I clicked the link to donate. Thank you. <clears throat> so this next part, it's the, uh, this post segment is Dragon Iody plus Dragon Shrine. It's, uh, it's, if you are like a newcomer, you, this is the part where you get nervous because you are like in the, such a good pace and uh, it's super easy to do a mistake here that I will get the bonfire. But uh, what I want to say about this part is shout out to a uh, no hit runner called Ben Pigeon. He taught me a strat that no hit community uses that is using the blocking. When you block in this game and you walk close to an enemy, there is a small, ch uh, small percent chance of he doing the shoot break attack. And in the final part of this uh, this castle, there is, there are like three soldiers, and uh, they do stagger you super easy. So if they do the shield break, it's it makes a breeze. So yeah, shout out to Ben Pigeon. We have twenty eight thousand dollars until we hit that incentive. Uh, last time I said something about it, it was forty k. So we've raised twelve thousand dollars in like I, I don't know the blink of an eye. Okay, here is it. Nice, I got the shoot, uh, the shoot break. <laughs> yeah, that worked. So yeah, guys, I'm heading to Giant Lord. We're getting close to the end. Yeah. Ugh, I don't want this to end, man. <laughs> Me neither, dude. Um, yeah, we, I, hey, look, this is a great way to immortalize it. Stock donates $50. And I think they came up with a great name for this. They said, of course, Dark Souls 2 is the best game of the series. Let's make this the official's Dark Souls 2 million stream. And don't forget to add the link to the past incentive. Yeah, this is the Dark Souls 2 million moment right here. Okay, so I'll be doing the giant lord jump. You uh, may use the gesture to go get over this, uh, I don't know how to say that, that edge and uh, use a bow to aim and drop right in front of a uh, the memory and you skip the need of the king's ring for this part and saves like a huge uh a huge chunk of time and this fight uh giant lord is actually my favorite so um you may not know it but there is a i will be hiding my character in a spot that uh and i could be hit by the the attack of giant lord even if i'm behind a wall it's called paper wall it's rare, but it can happen and like finish a run. But I got the good opening. We're down to 24,000 remaining. Yeah, that was Jumbo. Now I'm moving through the final fight. So, um, hey, from Daigs88, they donate $250. They say, cancer sucks, Zelda is cool, let's get some more AGDQ. Chat, I'm gonna give you this challenge right now. I think it would be out of our minds if we could possibly get to the incentive before the run's over. It's a final fight, but we've got about $22,000 remaining, so this is your chance to speed run. You know what, I'm gonna hop on this too, one second. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, guys. That's I'm heading to the final fight. I'll do my best, and I hope that I don't <laughs> that I don't do it like that. I don't miss it, but uh, I'll do my best to. In name of everybody who is watching right now, um, this one is for you. Like, uh, I don't know if I will be able to make your uh, AGDQ and like uh, AGDQ at all in the in the next years. So I hope that this is a really beautiful, uh, beautiful fight with no mistakes and uh, just to like have a, a really great finish. Yeah, Nick, I, I definitely as well. I want to take this moment to appreciate you. This has been a, a fantastic run. Um, it's raised so much money for PCF. We're the Dark Souls 2 million moment. That's always going to be a thing. Um, and you know, we have just over 20,000 remaining until that incentive. 
So regardless of what happens, you have been fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, so I got kind of memed. They are using the shield and I don't want to see the shield. Dude, what is happening here, please? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, final boss incoming. We're at 17,000 until the incentive. Let's go, guys. I'm just gonna Almost start counting there. down this too. But you, be, you know, cut me off. 16,000. Things are... Nice. 9,000, yo! 4,000! Oh my goodness! What is happening right now? Yo, th oh, less, than, less than 3,000, good job! I'm gonna interact with the lightning and when the screen goes black, uh, it's time. 1,000. 800. Time. We did it. We hit it. We just got a Let's Legend go, of Zelda yeah. Link to the Past right now. Just now. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, Nick. Good job, everyone. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. It was, it was a little close, but we did it. Yo, y'all did it. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Um, you who bear the curse. I don't even know what to say, man. Uh, I want to send a shout out to everybody from like AGDQ, the staff, the tech, uh, Melo, uh, for being with me in this moment, and um, shout outs to Chat as well for being this this awesome. You guys are amazing. You, every one of you, were part of this, and uh, this this will be a moment that I will carry for the rest of my life. Thank you so much for being this amazing. And um, I want to say a thing that if um, I, uh, I was always, uh, I always loved AGDQ, I always loved GDQ, watching speedruns, and I always have this in my mind that like, oh, uh, yeah, it's, us, uh, it's amazing to watch, but I, I don't know if I can do it. Like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't, I don't know if I can speedrun a game. The first step is start and you are able to do it you are able to start running a game and like grind for it have fun with it what grind for world record if you want but you are able to do it and um if you wanna uh start speed running a souls game uh, you can uh, you may check the speed souls it's a community for the, the dark souls speed running general and um if you speedrun Dark Souls 2, I will be there to help you entering this uh, this amazing hobby. Wow, just fantastic! I I I'm floored by the generosity of all the viewers that are here and the love that was shown for Nick, just absolutely gorgeous. Thank you all so much. I see the hearts coming through in the chat. Uh, you're just so beautiful. Um, so, you know, for now, uh, we're gonna take a little bit of a, of a breather and stick around um, while you hear a word from one of our sponsors.
What a day it's been. Let's talk about 7Now Delivery. They have pizza, fresh food, snacks, candy, even alcohol delivery. And uh, I'm hungry, so I'm probably about to hop on this right now. And they do delivery in about 30 minutes, as long as you're in the U.S. or Canada, 24-7. So the donation they make are, are benefiting Prevent Cancer Foundation. And you can visit them over at www.7now.com. Mm, love it. Welcome back. Don't forget, you're watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 online powered by Twitch. Um, I've been your happy host, Brutal Mellow, and that is starting to wrap it up for me. Before I go, I want to give uh, a huge shout out to something that's very special that's coming up soon. Um, UBAF, unapologetically black and fast. UBAF is back running its second marathon. That's right, second. We did this last year. This February 11th through the 12th, showcasing all levels of speed running, challenge running, and showcasing prowess from black speed runners in the community. Join us for this returning black history speed running celebration on Hotfix. I'm so proud that I have the opportunity to be a part of this. I believe I'm the opening host uh, on the first day of the event. 
And I'm really looking forward to it. And more than anything, I'm looking forward to finding, you know, underrepresented members of the community that can see faces like theirs uh, here where it counts. So please join us then February 11th through the 12th for Unapologically Black and Fast. But that's it for me. I love you all so much. What a wonderful, wonderful time it's been. Um, and, you know, I'll be around soon. I'll be around. But hey, oh, you know what? I think one of the homies is here. Oh my gosh, I guess that's me. I'm a homie, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you, Mello. And hello everyone, I am Kung Fu Fruit Cup. Brutal Mello just did an amazing job hosting. So following that up is gonna be hard, but I promise to do my absolute best with you all for my final shift here on Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 online. So excited to be with you all for two amazing games coming up. We have a couple of games left, don't worry. The finale of this marathon is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Plus, not only did we meet the bonus game, which is amazing, I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> so thank you all so, so, so much for getting your donations in to the Prevent Cancer Foundation to unlock uh, a link to the past. It's gonna be incredible. Um, plus it's 100% yay. But then also after that, we get to see Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I will be on for. And did you know, we just opened up two more incentives for that. You need to check those out. One of them is fighting Giratina, which will be so cool. Would love to see that. So we have an exhibition there. And then we have another exhibition on top of that, which is a glitch exhibition. And if you all know me and my hotfix show, you know that I love speed run glitches. So we need to see both of those. And for now, to get you even more hype and get in more donations for charity, let's go and head off to a prize segment to see all the amazing stuff you can get. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2023. My name is Sent, and it is the time of the marathon court where I have to ask you the most important question that you will ever get. Hit me with it. Is this dog? Gonna have to give you a yes on that. Good. That is the correct and only answer. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Once again, we are here to tell you all about some of the amazing prizes that you can win by making sure to donate during the marathon. We've got Link to the Past into the schedule, which is awesome. We've hit the $2 million mark, which is awesome, but we cannot stop now. We have so many more wonderful incentives oh. for you to put those donations towards. Make sure to keep those donations coming. And if you have not gotten in a $25, $50, or $100 donation today, you absolutely should to get yourself eligible to win several incredible Prizes. Prizes like this absolutely great wood burned is this dog piece of wood art from our good friend Making It Nerdy. Comes with a lovely wall hanger on the back so you can ask all of your house guests, hey, is this dog? Let them know that if they say no, they got the very much wrong answer. Sent. Is this dog? Yes, that is dog. Fantastic. That is an excellent dog. That I is an excellent crystal lizard doggo sent to us by our good friend Kaito Ace. Absolutely adorable. Huge fan of it. I think it looks fantastic. This is my favorite species of dog, I've got to say. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Thanks so much for sending it out. $25 minimum donation by itself. But, Court... What's up? We've got plenty of more prizes. Yeah, we really do. I mean, we, yeah. we had a fantastic Dark Souls run that just happened. We were all in awe of that. What a fantastic run. And uh, this this desk mat here shows not only Dark Souls 2 that we just saw, but 1 and 3. It has all three of them on here. I absolutely love the the, the image that's on this. I, I do have some unfortunate news about that image. What? It is not dog. Oh, we'll try again next time. Maybe we have something else that's dog. I mean, it's fantastic. I love it. Beautiful desk mat, unfortunately, mm. is not dog. Does uh, not pass the test. Does not, does pass, not the pass the test. I also have failed the test, as you can all see. Okay, but Scent, is this dog? Um, That is a very dangerous dog. I would not pet it. However, mm. I'm going to have to say that the gaping dragon is indeed dog. I would absolutely agree with that. And uh, you can get this dog for a $15 minimum donation. Yeah, huge shout-outs to... Uh, Court, would you like to try pronouncing their name today? I... It left the screen, so I, I'm going to have to say no on that one, Sen. Uh This comes to us from Je Signé Ikli, 
Uh, and it is an absolutely fantastic hand-done painting specifically it's for AGDQ 2023. Thank you so much for sending it out. $15 minimum donation by itself. But again, $25, you're going to get entered into the chance to win so many dogs. So and many some things dogs. that are not dogs, such as this beautiful... Uh, Master Sword Scale Mail sent to us by Magical AF Boutique, which is, by the way, oh, a great name. I love that, that name that so name much. That name is Magical AF, and so is this piece of Scale Mail. Uh, you know, much like Chain Mail, it's a bunch of individual mm -hmm. pieces that come together to form a, you know, more cohesive image, except in this time, it's metallic little scales. I, I, I really love it, and it's like, what a celebration that we got, that link to the past right into the schedules. This is perfect prize for that situation. There you go. $25 minimum donation by itself. It is not dog, but it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you much for sending it out to us. Uh, I got one for you, Court. How about this lovely little Elden Beast we have here? I mean, that seems the most dog we have witnessed so far, I gotta say. Yeah, weirdly enough, I agree with you. Uh, the Elden Beast, while it might be an eldritch monstrosity from beyond the stars, is also very much dog somehow. Uh, thank you so much to Jill Cope for sending it out to us. It is an absolutely adorable resin figurine, and it is so, so sparkly. The oh. interior is just filled with glitter, so it has that otherworldly cosmic shimmering effect to it. Super cool. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And as we were, you know, traversing the world of Dark Souls, I think we have uh, something that could help all of our uh, players along the way. Oh, for sure. Well, well, not quite Dark Souls. These are indeed the lands between the two of us, I suppose, but also the lands between of Elden Ring. An absolutely lovely canvas screen print of the world map sent to us by Sky Pirate Prince. Uh, it is unfortunately not dog itself, but mm. there are many dogs. There's many dogs in it. Yeah, you, you will find many dogs inside of it, which counts. makes it great. Yeah. I think that absolutely counts. $10 minimum donation by itself, but again, 25 That's what you want to do. 50 if you can. 100 if you haven't today. Get those donations in for sure. Uh, from our good friend Lalin of Lalin's Garden, oh. we have this absolutely incredible flower arrangement here. Yeah, we have the silent princess on the inside, you know, that classic blue, and then it spirals outward with some other like pinks and purples and the vine here is absolutely beautiful and it's in, you know, it's its own jar that Zelda or that Link would probably just smash on the floor. Yeah, please do not smash this jar on the floor because it contains an absolutely beautiful flower arrangement. And I've been fiddling around with my pocket for the last couple of seconds here because as I have learned from Lalan recently, the Silent Princess specifically actually reacts under UV Aww. light. And it's a little hard to see because our studio lights are so bright. But the in inside of the flower, as well as the, uh, the stem there, the yellow, little yellow bit, really lights up under UV light. Thank you very much to our uh, tech crew who is moving <laughs> the lights away as I speak so you all can see this absolutely oh, beautiful effect. I love when it's just like, oh, we have this beautiful prize, but wait, there's more. It can be even more stunning, and that's another example of Indeed, that. Indeed, it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to Lalin from Lalin's Garden for sending that out to us. All right, we have some of our day prizes, and as the day winds down, just get your donations in now. You can put them towards any of those Legends of Arceus incentives. Legends of Arceus. Legend, Legends of Arceus. <laughs> I kind of mix up the Legend of Zelda and Legend of Arceus. That, that's this block. Legends of Arceus. This is the Legends of you're, Arceus you're, block. You're not, so internally, as a little thing, when we were putting prizes in the schedule, <laughs> we, we make up different block names to just, you know, help us remember, like, when the different prizes are. So we've we've had some fun ones this event. We, we've had the Hawks to Worm block. Yes. Uh, we've had the Dread the Past block. Dread the Past block's a good one. <laughs> So uh, in this Dread the Past block, we have this fantastic Happy Mother Day chain mail art. we got Sam is here fighting mother brain and I just the colors that you get here and the precision of this like pixel art in a way but instead on chain mail I think it's such a fun interpretation of you know one of our favorite speedrunning games yeah. huge shout outs to the chain nerd always providing yeah. us with absolutely fantastic chain mail pieces this is definitely no exception and this one's really easy to tell which side is the front uh, as it turns out chain mail actually just always has a front to it I didn't know this until I held it backwards a few times, but this piece, very easily tell. And also, Court, I'm going to tell you, I have a controversial opinion about Metroid. Oh, what is it? Baby Metroid from Super Metroid? That is dog. Oh, you are so correct. I don't even think that's controversial. That's simply a fact. It is absolutely a fact. And of course, we cannot forget this oh. magnificent painting here of the Radon Festival sent to us by Albolt. It is... Just a fantastic hand-done acrylic on canvas oh. 
painting. The blending in this is just fantastic, you know, from the reds down at the bottom to the, the moonlight coming off of the moon. It's just absolutely stunning. That's a $25 minimum donation. You got to get that in fast. Indeed. You only have until the end of The Legend of Zelda. I'll link to the past to do so, so make sure to get those donations in. Now, last but not least in the prizes that are available right now, we got to talk about it one more time. Uh, I got to pick it up one more time because I absolutely love this beautiful little miniature sent to us by Sky Berkson. It is a recreation of the stable from Breath of the Wild. Again, done primarily in hand-cut, hand-colored paper. Wow. And I love, you know, I love how it lights up at the front. That was another like special surprise that was put into this uh, into this prize and it's just it's it really just brings back memories of when I played Breath of the Wild for the first time and how you know homey it is to to just find a stable get to chill for a little bit it's it's fantastic uh, you can see the day night cycle actually affecting <laughs> the miniature live thanks to the efforts of our lovely studio crew seriously it is an absolutely fantastic yeah. looking one of a kind piece thank you so much to Sky Berkson for sending that out to us. But of course, in addition to all of those prizes, if you donate at least $200 throughout the marathon, you are entered into not one, not two, but all three of our amazing yes. grand prizes. Court, do you want to start on your end? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to attempt to pick up this Hylian shield that we have here. It is quite heavy <laughs> and quite large compared to myself, but you know, it is absolutely amazing. We've got all, you know, we've got the Triforce, we've got the emblem, and this thing is hefty. It even comes with a little hole Older on the back, which is the only way that it is staying on my body right now. But it is, it's, it's fantastic. The it, work that, that the Heroic Access team does is amazing. I mean, again, it's like a 20 pound stainless steel yeah. shield. It is no joke. Uh, I know I'm a little bit out of shape, but as, as court shows, it is quite hefty <laughs> to lift. It is quite a piece to have. Thank you so yeah. much to Heroic Replicas and Dave from Heroic Replicas for sending that out to us. And in addition to that shield, you're going to get your choice of one of 15 incredible replica options. You can see the full list over at gamesdonequick.com. And while you're there, you can check out our second grand prize, which is, of course, an incredible gaming PC from our friends over at Skytech Gaming. Absolutely beautiful tower. It's going to serve all of your current-gen gaming needs if that's what you're after. And again, same $200 cumulative donations getting you entered into that heroic replica prize. Yeah. It's getting into you into the Skytech gaming PC. But wait, because there's more, because that same 200 cumulative is also getting oh, you entered you, or, oh, sense going somewhere. Okay. into okay. a lovely Fallout AER9 style laser rifle from Cute Monster and Vulpin Props. Just oh, take it out of the case here. yes. Oh, this this thing. It's got it's got a good bit of heft to it. It feels very solid to hold. Yeah. No, this is this is fantastic. Oh, I'll rotate gosh. it for the camera here for you. Oh, that thing is honestly terrifying in terms of just how large it is and but it looks it I mean, it's hyper realistic. It's got the battery that pops out. It's it's a it's a must have for any Fallout fan. It is indeed an incredible replication. Thank you so much to our friends at Vulpin and Cute Monster Props for sending it out to us. Now, that is all of the prizes that we have to talk about for now, I believe. Uh, but there is one more thing that we should mention. Uh, Court, you know, I know this is going to be the last segment that you're going to be on camera for this event. Um, you know, I just wanted to thank you, frankly. Uh, it's been... <laughs> it's been a long week. We've had a lot of fun. We've gotten to show off so many yeah. amazing prizes. Uh, and frankly, if you weren't here helping me do it, I'm not sure I'd still be here. I'd probably be just like lying on the floor, holding things up to the camera going, look at it. It's pretty cool. I'm dead now. Bye. <laughs> Uh, but but seriously, yeah. um, you know, it, it's a pleasure having you here and you do so much behind the scenes to help these events happen. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sen. I mean, when you asked me to come and do this, I was just kind of so honored I could help you and help make this marathon even better. And I've learned so much about every single video game that exists. <laughs> Someday I will learn them all from working here on prizes. And you teach me so much. You teach me to take care of myself and to be proud of myself. And that's something that, you know, I, I would never change for the world. And, and I taught you about Mally Mallard in Cold Shadow. That's maybe the most that important That was the part. most important thing that happened all week. 
<laughs> Indeed. Anyway, well, it's been a pleasure, everyone. But the marathon is far from over. We still have so many incredible runs, so many incredible incentives that you can put your donations towards. And of course, so many incredible prizes that you can win. So head over to gamesdonequick.com if you're not already there. Check out all of that info. But most importantly, don't go anywhere because you do not want to miss The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, coming up soon. those amazing prizes oh they're so pretty oh my gosh that breath of the wild stable is so awesome oh my goodness okay all right before we get into this run let's have one donation for you all okay i got this 50 dollars donation that came in from canon swift and it's clearly for a song clearly written in song style so i'm going to take a guess at what they want for the song and here we go let's give it a shot Link. He comes to town to save the Princess Zelda. Get those donos in. We want to see a link to the past. I guess, right? Hopefully. Well, thank you so much for the donation. And speaking of a link to the past, so excited for this 100% run coming up with Glenn. Take it away. <laughs> 